G'day. We're going to have a look into this Wavelink USB-C Quad Display 4K Universal Dock. Now this is quite a large docking station as you can see. Now when I unboxed it I was like whoa this is a bit big compared to all the other docks I've had on previous on my channel and all the other docks I've experienced before. This is quite a large dock. More like long side than anything else but there's a good reason for it as there is a few unique features on this Wavelink Universal Dock. I mean, we're just gonna go through some of these. Now, first off, I'd like to say is just the good build quality of this dock. Now, this is made of mostly just aluminium. It just feels fantastic. It's got a solid build to it. Feels a good bit of weight, so they've definitely put some things. You're getting a good bang for the buck for it. And each edge is just rounded off, beautifully cornered, and just professionally made. So fantastic there. Now, one of the big major unique features of this Wavelink Universal Dock is being quad displays, I've seen a quad displays before. Usually you get like two display ports and two HDMI, then you have to just do the combo. Whereas Wavelink on the other hand, they've given you four display ports and also four HDMI ports. Now you can actually choose whichever HDMI or display for on each channel and that is absolute fantastic there. Now it does also support dual 5k as well on this dock so that is absolutely fantastic. we'll talk about that later on the configurations you need for that on there the other unique feature i see on this is the ethernet port normally I see a gigabit ethernet port this one has 2.5 gig support so that is way above the usually industry standard so that's future proof they're absolute fantastic now the other unique feature is actually from the actual USB-C cable that it comes with. Now this USB-C cable is about a meter length, that's nothing new. It is pretty good feels and good solid build and good quality there. Now there's also has a USB-C to a USB-A adapter, again nothing new there. That's absolutely just pretty good being a universal dock. Now it's on the other end that you see. Now this goes to the actual dock. This is the side that plugs into the dock. Now what's unique about it is this little adapter here. Now this actually got a little screw to actually hold this side in place of the dock. Uh, so you can actually just screw this in and makes it secure this USB-C into the docking station. Now this is absolutely fantastic because I've been in a couple of workplaces where people have actually pinched this cable or trying to change the different places around and that really creates a lot of havoc for the IT team and they're wondering why it doesn't work because they've actually changed the actual configuration of the USB-C or they've actually pinched it up or this could be maybe in a public or hot desk area and they've pinched this cable. It's just annoying as these cables are can be expensive but also not easy to replace. So I love this new little screw in adapter just to give the security for this USB-C and just make it less confusing if they need to plug it somewhere else. So that's a really cool feature there. Looking at the ports, starting at the front, we've got a USB Type-C port. Now this has a power delivery of 30 watts only. And then we've got a micro SD card reader and a SD card reader. We've got a USB Type-A port. Now this is 3.2 Gen 2. We've got a power indicator for this dock as you can turn it on and off. We also have an audio combo jack and this is nicely labeled with display link to tell you this is a display link dock. Now you also find that everything is just gorgeously, beautifully labeled so you don't get any confusion. Now looking at the back, we've got four display ports and also four HDMI ports. Now they are grouped together as what we call video streams or channels. So this display port and this one HDMI port below it is one video stream or one channel. This is where you plug in one of the external monitors or displays. You only choose one of these two. Don't plug them both in as that won't work. And then we again, here is the second video stream or second channel, you can call it. And you can either choose one or the other. Just don't choose both again. And then this is the third stream. And then this is the fourth stream. Now for 5K wise, you are using two display ports. So these two display ports are grouped together for one 5K display. And then these two display ports is again grouped together for the second 5K display. So you need two display ports to give it enough bandwidth for 5K. Now we also have the 2.5 gig 
Ethernet. Now that is going to be great because that is future proof and that's faster than the normal you see from other docks. Then we got three USB type A ports, that's USB 3.0. And then we got a USB type C port. Now this is for the host or this is where you connect it to your device or laptop. This is the port you connect to. Now this has support of power delivery of 100 watts, which is absolutely fantastic. We also have the AC power port, which is where you connect the supplied power adapter to it, which is 180 watts. Then we've got the power button here. Now you can turn the dock on and off, and that's the power button there. And then we've got security lock slot. Again, I like to alliterate how beautifully labeled everything is. Before you connect the dock, you do need to install the Display Link graphics software and drivers to actually make the dock run on the computer. Now, you can go to any of your search engine and just type in Display Link as a search, and hopefully it should be the very first one that actually pops up. And if the, usually from Google, it's pretty easy. You just click on the Display Link downloads page, and then you should be popped up into a different operating system. Now, we are running Windows here. It does support Mac. And I do have a separate video that shows you how to install Display Link on a Mac. It's pretty easy, but there are extra permissions you need to set for a Mac. Now, you can also support your Android and Chrome OS and Ubuntu as well. Now, this one being Windows, we're just going to go strictly to Windows and we'll just download it. Now, just pretty much just select the official latest drivers easiest way to click on downloads now i've actually downloaded this already so i'm just gonna click on that here and it will actually install the software now it's a very easy one to install the actual wizard you pretty much just click next all the way through as you'll see this one here it's just do system compatibility and then click on next all the way through and then once it's finished installing you click on finish and you actually will see the actual agent itself sitting on your system tray down near where the clock is down here and you'll see the display link graphics here and there's not much you need to do to it it just pretty much just tells you which version it is now looking at the temperatures and noise of this wavelink universal dock now i've got this computer running for about 30 minutes on this wavelink universal dock and i'm just giving you a temperature reading at the moment you're looking on the top temperature you're looking around about say about 29 degrees celsius now you'll see down over here where the port is uh, that's reading about 36 degrees celsius but most ports are usually hot as that's just because of the power running through now my ambient temperature is about 19 and a half degrees celsius in this ambient room and also as for the actual noise you're probably looking at about 35 to 30 six decibels so i'm just going to keep quiet so you can actually hear this so this dock is pretty much dead silent at the moment and just to give you a reference point on my hand you're looking at it'll be at the moment as i said it's a bit of a colder night at 30 3 to 34 degrees Celsius, my hand, just to give you a reference point at the moment. Just showing you the back of the dock you're looking at, and again, these are the ports. I've got four HMI connected for quad displays, about 35 to 36 degrees Celsius on those ports. That's what it was also at the front. Again, it's all because of the power is going on to it. But else, you're looking at about 29 degrees celsius on the top of the dock and just to give you an idea on the bottom of the dock here so i'll just uh, again it is playing stuff and you look still at the bottom you're looking at around about 29 30 degrees celsius at the bottom again doing really well it's actually a silent dock and it's you don't feel it, any heat coming out of this at all and it has been running on display quad displays and also I have been playing video through this did a bit of transfer on data as well so it has been running up to operation speed at the moment so temperature wise doing extremely extremely well now i'm going to demonstrate on three computers the wavelink universal dock connecting to four monitors now i've got two 4k monitors on top and i've got two 
full HD monitors or 1080p monitors on the bottom. Now I've got right here at the moment is the new Dell Precision 5490. Now this has the Intel Arc integrated graphics and I'm just uh, I've got it connected now all the monitors are connected by HDMI on the back I've decided just to try and use all HDMI's and you can do it by a combination of HDMI's or DisplayPort I'm just choosing HDMI just to give you an idea now I've got this thing connected so you can see this is the it is connected there and I'm going to now connect this on as you can see I'm just going to now connect this to this Dell Precision 50 490. I'm going to do a review on this. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check that out. And as you see, now it's just firing up all the four displays. Now I can see from here, now I've just got this as the main display, but I'm going to now move that off. That is now in extended mode, so you can see that. That is what it looks like. I'm just going to put it on this, here, on this side here, and I'm going to just choose this 4K monitor. And I'm just going to make it a little larger so you guys can see this a little bit. So I'm going to 225, so it's quite large here uh, at the moment. So let's go and check this thing here. Now I can see this is running in 4K, and I'm going to select this monitor here that is also running at 4K. Now I'm also going to just quickly show you uh, on this one here uh, at the moment. I just select that one there. I am going to run at 60 hertz. It's able to do at 60 hertz. Just going to move the mouse over there. Just give you an idea on that. So we'll just go back down here. It's a little bit hard to do with that, but we've got. So we are running on 4K on these two up here, and we've got full HD on down here. And you can see this is in extended mode. Now I'm actually going to do this on a lower spec computer. So this is using the Intel Ultra Core 7 and I'm just going to disconnect that. Now I'm going to chuck in. Now this is the new Asus Xbook 1204. Now this is actually for the K12. This is not very high spec. It's much lower than spec. This actually runs off the Intel N200 processor. Now I'm going to get this one connected up. Again, I'm going to create a review. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check this computer out. This is a much lower spec computer. This runs off the Intel UHD. So this is for all the old computers on, that's been for cut past, probably a decade. This will be running the exact same graphics, integrated graphics drive on this one here. And I'm just gonna get this one connected up and we'll just get this thing signed in just so you can see. And there you go, it's booting up all four displays. And I'll just bring up the displays here. And again, I've got it all pre-set up so you can actually see this. Now that's running off this one here, and you can see this running off this display here. And again, it is running uh, 4K. You can see just the, even the largeness of it. So even if I just put it through here, you can see the difference of just the two 4K monitors and the two full HD monitors. Very easy, and it's in extended mode here. Now I'm also just going to help out with using this lower spec computer and I'm just going to close the lid so you can actually see this change over to just using purely the external monitors. Now it's gone to sleep because that's why I've got it to sleep. Now just to wake it up, just move the mouse or press it on the keyboard, speed bar or wake it up itself. Now I know some people will ask me about this. Now there is a power button on the back of the dock. Now if I press the power button on the dock, it will pretty much what we'll do is just shut the dock off itself and that's what it does it doesn't actually um, wake the computer up now i'm just going to actually just put this one back down just to give you this idea of what it is and if you just press the power button of the dock it will wake the dock up it won't wake the computer up but because it's got i've got a, a usb keyboard and mouse that's connected to it it doesn't wake it up, but you can just move the mouse as if you're just waking a computer up normally anyway, as you can see. Now that's waking it up there. So and just click it on, and there we go. We're good to go for that, and we're still in the extended mode for this computer here. Now I'm going to top it up one more time. I've got now another. This is a MacBook. This is a MacBook Pro 14, and this runs off the M1 Max processor. A little bit more beefed up as my personal one here and i'm just going to get this one connected here again i'm going to connect that up and we will hopefully maybe we're just going to wake it itself up i might have to 
bring it up just to give an idea. I'm just going to wake itself up this way here, but I can wake it up with just using the keyboard mouse, which I'll show you in a moment. And okay, we've got this display. Just give me a second. I'm just trying to work out which display the mouse is on. There it is. It's on this side here. Okay, now again, you'll see that is in range mode here. I'm just going to chuck it onto this display here. Uh, actually, maybe this display may be easier to see so you can, can see this uh, on this one here. Now, I've just put on a range so you can hopefully see there is four displays, five displays here at the moment. And I'm just going to go done. Now, I'm going to choose the ultra fine. So that's this monitor here. I know and at the moment it is running 4k here and this one is the uh, full HD and I'm just going to try and see if I can grab the other 4k monitor that's also 4k and you can see it's running at 60 Hertz down here so the 4k's are running 60 Hertz and again you are running the display link which is right up here now you can see with the display on the Mac you can see it's nice like that heights and lights at all. You can have it in normal standard mode, which is in landscape mode. You can also change it up in portrait mode, 90 degrees or uh, 180, which is basically flipping around or 28, 270. Again, it is all about that. Now I'm just gonna also just show you, just close the lid down on this one here for the Mac. And this should also get now it's still in the, should now detect only just four. As you can see, I've only got four. I don't have the built-in display here. And again, I'm just going to quickly bring this up. You can just move this across. Again, we are running uh, in extended mode on a MacBook here. Now, I'm just going to tell this computer to go to sleep. We'll go to sleep. So now that's gone to sleep. And I should be able to wake it up on this using the thing as I have enabled the extra on the display link add-on for that plugin. And I'll just bring this in here, yeah. and we're now back into it, and we again was running very nicely here. So on this computer here, it is uh, running on 92 watts and is able to supply to 92 watts. Now I'm just going to bring all back this Precision 5490 down. This requires 100 watts, and this dock Wavelink. Oh, Universal Dock is able to provide the 100 watts to this computer, so I don't actually get the. We'll just wait for this to wake itself up, and I don't get where it says slow charger connected. It is a fantastic to see that it is providing. Normally, you'll see down here. I'm just going to see if I can just bring this up. Uh, if I'm just down here. It would normally say slow charge, but it's not getting slow charge uh, or any of the signs of saying not enough power. So that's absolutely fantastic there. The Wavelink Universal Dock is probably one of the best Universal Dock I've actually tested on this channel or even come across in my professional working career. It has absolute fantastic build quality. It's silent, it has fantastic operating temperatures. We got great offering of ports and it actually just works straight after you installing display link and it does support quad 4k at 60 hertz it also has support for dual 5k's and it's just gorgeously labeled and just feels great and i just love the actual look of it as well now i hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it if you did even support my channel smash that like button for me share this video it does help me out and as always imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting and i'll see you next video